Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, lost our arm and uh, met the sculpting dude, the who's sculpting Buddhas in there. Uh, met the doctor here and met a guy who cannot die at all here. Seriously, we tried. <laughs> we, we tried in more ways than one. Uh, technically, he tried uh, on me, and uh, I wasn't really attempting to kill him, but it just kind of happened. Anyway, uh, we are here now, and now we have places we can go. Out here, even. Oh! The grappling hook, which I already knew about, but this is kind of cool. Uh, the grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are designated with a circular symbol. When this symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. Now this is a thing I... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You just press the button and you go. Okay. I saw a bit of it, but I never got a chance to uh, actually play with it, so I had no idea how it worked. So it just press the button, you go. That is cool to know. Woo! Alright. Although that's going to be my biggest problem, is making sure I don't fall while I attempt to use it. Ah, uh, boy. Woo! Now I can travel, instantly travel between sculptors' idols that have already been communed with. So as long as I touch them and uh, sit down at them, then I can tra uh, tra <laughs> travel back to them. I was about to say tra transfer or something. I don't know. My mouth is being weird today. I haven't had enough coffee. Anyway... Go down here. This guy doesn't seem to be on the up. Oh, I'm right. He isn't on the up and up because I just got the tutorial for the death blow. You can perform stealth death blows on opponents unaware of your presence. The plunging death blow is one of these, performed when leaping at an unaware enemy from high ground. Alrighty. Uh, jump. Oh, that is brutal. I love it. <laughs> All right. Enemies drop loot such as items as... As? <laughs> drop loot such as items and money. Did I shut my door? Yeah, I shut my door. Cool. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and some from some distance away. Items found in the world are different than loot in that they must be approached to be picked up. Hold to acquire loot pick up item by just pressing. Okay. And I got Sen. Hmm. That's going to be a typical pickup, I'm sure. I'm assuming I'm assuming Sen are the games What does that symbol mean? Oh, I already had 3, so it put it in the Put it in there maybe. See. Let me investigate this. Uh No, I don't see it here. I don't see a way to get to it anyway. I don't know. Oh that was nice out. Gotta be aware of my surroundings though. So I don't know what that symbol was, but I do know, oh, that was a little ungraceful, <laughs> I do know that uh, my discussion that I was going to talk about, the thing that I was going to say, that I am now getting back on track to, as you can tell, <laughs> is that Sen are essentially the uh, equivalent 
of souls or blood echoes in those games uh, can be lost on death, uh, but you get them from killing. Um, I'm not entirely sure how the uh, how entirely the uh, system works, mainly because there's also another uh, thing known as skill points up in the top right corner. You'll see there that uh, zero there that uh, it also gives you a skill tree of sorts. Uh, there's not really a lot of ways to uh, abuse the system, per se, because, as you can see, you get such a small amount from normal enemies. I think they did that on purpose. Um, now, I know what some of you may be thinking. <laughs> some of you may be thinking, he was shouting out Pat and Wooly in the first episode he's going to try to become giant on his own off camera and be like those assholes that that i was just as annoyed by that as you guys uh, i'm not going to be doing that i'm going to only be playing this game on camera or on recording uh during the course of the game what i get is what i get the only time I think I will be off camera is if I'm getting back to a sculptor's idol to transport back to the grove, and that's it. That is the only movement I might make. I might not even do that. So, there you go. That is your reassurance that I'm not going to pull a become giant off camera. Nah. Ceramic shard. Piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Yeah, a little, a little wouldn't know, but a little, absolutely wouldn't know. Not at all. Mm -mm. Never did that in my life. Uh, uh, thrown at an enemy to draw their attention. Throwing and smashing such pieces made for a popular sports among the Sheena boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you just like to be a shit ass. Oh, hi there. Oh, geez. Hi there. Oh, geez. Ha-ha! Brute force. Okay. Other guy. Oh, geez. I hit it too early. That's my bad. Woo! Goodbye. <laughs> That's also a good way to be able to, uh... Pull the loot to you while they're falling off cliffs as well. So I do like how they changed that uh, system for looting enemies. It's kind of nice. Alright, woo! Okay, healing gourd. Oh, there's two of them there. That's not good. Oh. They noticed me. Will they notice me if I go up here? Whoop! No, they did not. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. I become ninja. Sneaky. So sneaky. Should probably properly sneak if I'm gonna say that shit. Alright, um I should probably use a pellet to uh heal myself. Oh no, I forget what button it is. Oh no. Okay, well, that was unfortunate. Good. Okay, I managed to save it. Oh, joy. All right, what? There's the up button. That's what it was. Well, now I need more. Now I need more of it. Oh, well. Oh. And you made it too easy, bud. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Whoop. I wonder can I get it from here still? I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Get it from any distance, as long as the body is still within reach. 
That is good. That is good. All right, so. Oh, that was a concept that I saw a little bit of and I didn't really get to experience. That is kind of cool. Hi there. I killed your buddy. You really think you have a shot? Let's see. Ah. Oh, I was too early. Fuck me. All right. That was me being cocky. Oh, more pellets. Yay. I can pop that right now. Made the other one free. Okay. Thank you for the loot, my friends. Alrighty. Pick this one up. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I tossed that to the side. Fistful of ash. Oh. It's a pop -o. Oh no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. I don't wanna kill pop -o. But there's so many of them, I might not have a choice. Especially because they're becoming alerted to my presence. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. Ow. That sucks. Uh-oh. That's a little weird. That, uh... I assume that they think that the character will still be moving when they press the button so that the jitter doesn't happen there. I'm not so sure about that myself. <laughs> oh, the maneuverability you get just able to pull that stun. Oh, that is so good. That is the best. <laughs> oh, this is such a different feel from a Souls game. Oh. It's probably like uh, I had noticed a review at some point. Uh, this is probably as close to a uh, Bloodborne as the Xbox will probably get. Oh. I had a death blow, but I just want I don't want the brutality on Puppos. Uh, I want to avoid that if at all possible. Okay. Okay. Got a ceramic shard. And another idol. Alright. Sculptor's idol found. Alright. Uh, let's pop another pellet. What's going on in here? Not much. Just a dead guy over here. Shuriken wheel. A mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen. Can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm-sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel as the edges were designed for stacking. Cool. A fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. Shinobi tools can't be used on their own. By giving them to the sculptor, they can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic. So he's called the sculptor. Okay. You can quickly return to the sculptor via travel from a sculptor's item or by using the homeward idol. Well, since the idol has many uses, I could do that, but I kind of want to keep exploring. Um. Hello, Mr. Rooster. Fuck is it? 
It was a genuine enemy. Just walked up to it to see if it was a weird Bloodborne thing. It's a genuine enemy. So that was a thing that was said in the chat. And chat is a bunch of liars. On the streams I was watching. Oh, well, there was an NPC. And it's like, are you sure? Are you sure? Is it really that weird? No. It, it, it turned into an enemy as soon as I walked up to it. Alright, so... the area I just came from? No! No, it's not. This is a brand new area. There we go. We go here. Huh. At least down here is a brand new area. Huh. Ungo's sugar. Sugar made... No, sugar candy, rather. Made in Senpo Temple, sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Oh, that's what these are. Okay. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of her military heroes. Cool. Oh, I have actually already been here. I just missed that item in particular. Okay, I'm stupid. Alrighty. Oh, so that's... Oh. Oh, big boy. Big boy with big number of hits. I see now. I see two on him. Additional pelts already. Okay, it might behoove me to try and be sneaky here. And gotcha, bitch! Perilous attacks. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks, signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a different response. LB as a thrust lands. A before sweep. B before grab. Okay. All right. Hi there, buddy. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Up to you. Ow. Okay. Safety roll. To stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. Safety roll can use <laughs> can be used to quickly recover from being knocked down or posture broken. A or B. Okay. Ow. All right. All right. I got cocky. I was very cocky. That's what I'm learning. Ow. All right. Okay. All right. All right, okay. I'm not very, not doing very good on those reads there. I'm really not doing good on those reads. Loyal wolf, take my blood and live again. Resurrection. Okay. The divine heir's blood 
Resurrection. Return from the dead using resurrection for the first time. That's an achievement. Okay, give me a second. I need to mute my computer then. Cool, okay. Did more noise moving my chair than I did leaving the fucking thing unmuted. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway. The divine heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting at a sculptor's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. Okay, maybe. Maybe I got a chance. Okay, well. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay. There we go. I just reinforced it. Okay. Prayer bead, a loose prayer bead. Offering four of them at a sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. Currently, the wolf has one beads in his possession. Seed from which healing waters continuously spring forth. Ah, we got the gourd seed. That'll increase my uh, amount of Estus. Sorry, healing waters. <laughs> Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of the healing gourd. The twisted gourd of... Medicinal waters was known throughout Ashina since long ago, but it was the extraordinary healer Dogen and his pupil Emma who discovered the self-replenishing nature of the seed. So her name is Emma. Okay. I have no heal. Hey, got 33 out of him. Cool. All right. Oh, there's a lot of enemies past here. And I have no healing items. Hug. <laughs> okay, I should probably... I should probably go back home. With the homeward idol. The dilapidated temple. Uh, drink some of my green tea here. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. That was pretty much all I did there, was just attack his posture until he went down. I just super brute forced it. Okay, Emma. Now that I know your name. Hmm. Notice anything different? Yes. Like what? I died. The divine heir's voice reached out to me, and suddenly I was alive again. So you died, and now you're alive again. So that means it has to do with resurrection. Resurrection? Lord Kuro, it's said to be a power of the divine heir's dragon heritage. Those who have been given the power of resurrection, they are revived upon death, repeatedly. Impossible. Yes, Repeatedly. it is rather strange, and yet, it is happening here and now. Let me know if you notice any more changes. I don't think the power of resurrection comes without a cost. <laughs> You're right about that. Okay. I'm glad Talk you've again. Come, Master Wolf. Absolutely. I'm going to give you a gourd seed. Is this a gourd seed? Yes. Bring it here. Plant the seed into the gourd. Perfect. Now the volume of medicinal waters in your gourd will increase. Yay! I now have two. Strange medicine. Is it strange? <laughs> I don't take any offense to that. If it's effective, then that's cause for celebration. 
whether it's strange or not. That's Kinda what true. my mentor Dogen taught me. I see. Please bring me any other gourd seeds you find. I should be able to further increase the volume of the medicinal water. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. I still Talk. don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. All right. Goodbye. Sounds good. And now we can get that shinobi tool added. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang. But by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, break them into splinters. Swift foes, bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Sounds good. And there's a little animation for it and everything. Oh, that's so cool. It's the coolest it's ever been. Okay, fit new prosthetic tool. Regular shinobi tools found in the world can be specially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic via the fit prosthetic tools menu. All right, loaded shuriken. There we go. A shuriken wheel prosthetic tool fitted to the shinobi prosthetic. Costs spirit emblems to use. What were spirit emblems again? I think that's a new resource that I have to manage. Uh, all right. Pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it in a target in a single flowing motion. The swiftly thrown shuriken damage, ugh, damage is enemy vitality and posture, particularly against those with a tendency to take to the air. So the ones who fly, I will throw this at them and make them go down. Cool. Okay. All right. And it's just simple shuriken throw. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's talk. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You'll understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? Fair enough. Uh, need to ask about that since uh, we only just recently learned about... D does he even know? Does he even know? The dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name. And that blood runs through your master's veins. Which is why someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. All right. Fair enough. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. Okay. Prosthetic tool. Prosthetic tools are shinobi tools adapted for use with the shinobi prosthetic. They can be equipped in the equipment menu, and using them consume spirit emblems. Alrighty. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger. Sadness. Or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Spirit emblems. That's what that was. Okay. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Spirit
spirit emblems can be obtained from defeated enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. Okay, so you can buy them or you can get them by killing people naturally. Okay. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. Well, that's good. Good to know. Alright. Oh, I have to equip it. <laughs> it's helpful if I equip the thing. All right. Uh, prosthetic tool equipment slots have been unlocked. There are three slots available to equip and switch out the prosthetic tools as needed. On the equipment selection screen, the controls can be viewed through Y. Okay. Loaded shuriken. Oh, that's what they meant. Okay, cool. And it's just a simple shuriken throw. Fair enough. All right. Um, ah, I have to. I was trying to figure out why I couldn't move around. It's I have to use the D-pad for it. Okay. I have two of three. I have one of two. All righty. Talk to you. Oh, it's you. You may use me to hone your swordsmanship, if you like. Absolutely. I mean, as long as you're willing to let me continue. Step dodge. Uh, talk. This temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box. Oh yeah, I forgot to check to on time. that. Okay, I'll check on that in a bit. Aha! Huh. The menu didn't expand. I figured after I bet, uh, rather beat that tutorial guy, I would have had more training I could have done. Huh. Come back whenever you like. If you have Will techniques do, to try out, I'm at your disposal. Sounds good to me. Is there anything? Currently empty. Okay. All right. Well, I checked. Okay. Well, yeah, there's no way this is getting used. I absolutely have to use this. Okay. All right. Well, hit, hit the wrong button again. There we go. All right. Well, here we are. Back into the world after doing a tutorial for a, a thing that my brain didn't let me fucking register. So I just brute forced it and still won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me, actually. I think that was one of the... I think that was the guy who handed Pat his ass 13 times in a row. Oh, boy. No one point out to Pat that I just beat that in one city. Well, I mean, one death. One death. I'll give him that. It was one death. Then I did a resurrection and then brute forced the rest of the way. But that's because I understand the combat. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's not exactly Cheatsy Doodle. Um, because it's a different game entirely. Uh, there was a game on the Xbox 360 called Way of the Samurai 2. I own that game currently on my Xbox. Or rather, the Xbox 360. I just haven't booted it up in forever. Um, there were harder difficulties uh, that I unlocked that were insta-kill. You could kill people in one hit. They could kill you in one hit. Um, I think a lot of my ability to understand this combat stems from that. And, uh, is that a little cheatsy doodle to have that experience going into this? I'll admit, maybe. Maybe not. But it's helping. <laughs> I'll admit that. Uh, so, someone point out to Pat for me and <laughs> so I don't have to link him on Twitter. Or I'll just link him on Twitter. Uh, that I beat that guy in one hit. Well, one 
particular run. Uh, died once, resurrected, beat him again. Uh, not, you know, just not, not to rub his nose in it, but just, just to be like, hey, I, uh, I, I might have maybe the not totally unearned cockiness <laughs> after all. But I'm sure my ass will get handed to me at some point in the game, so it's, you know, it's a thing. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna... Ah, oh, some of them did respawn. Cool. Oh, he's out. Alright, well, I'll get this guy. Here you. Wow, you didn't hear that at all, did ya? You didn't hear that at all, did ya? Fucking idiot. Let's <laughs> take care of some of these guys just to get some. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hi there. Ha! <laughs> nice cry, idiot. There we go. Get all that loot. Perfect. Long as I remember to hold it. go up we go all right and just want to get these guys dealt with just so I can say I have more than a couple kills under my belt Hi there, buddy. Ah. Did he seriously not notice me through all of that? Wow, guy. Wow, guy. Really. You are so stupid, my man. You are so dumb. And that death is going to cost you... Oh yeah. <laughs> Rather, that stupidity is going to cost you. Really, I can English. Really, I can. So, uh, yeah. That uh, might be why I <laughs> managed to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Poochies. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. I feel bad now. Okay, I think I'm going to end the episode now. Okay. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Uh, <laughs> taking on one of the first guys uh, who's really tough. That uh, I know for a fact uh, other streamers struggled against. And I managed to take him out no problem. So I'm feeling a little more cocky than maybe I should. <laughs> but uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about my chances at, uh, at uh, playing this game and not ripping my hair out for you.